Dude, Dude the Builder here. And in this episode of Zig and Death, we're going to be taking a look at uh, how to add dependencies to our Zig project. We're going to be making use of the build system and the Zig package management system uh, with the disclaimer that uh, these components are actively being developed at the moment. Right now, we're using Zig 0.11, which is the latest stable version of Zig. But already in Zig 0.12 dev uh, on the master branch, uh, a lot of changes have been made, including to the build system and package management. Um, so uh, these uh, topics are moving targets. But anyway, I believe that the main ideas behind these topics, uh, the idea of modules and how to add them, um, are not going to suffer too many major changes. So uh, let's, let's dive into it. I created here a little sample project called Hello Depths. Well, and I just initialized it, initialized it with zig init exe. So we basically have the default build.zig. Let's take a look at this right here. We have the default build.zig file that's generated by zig init exe. Okay. And uh, when we want to add a dependency to our project, that dependency is pretty, uh, it's pretty sure that we're going to find it in some, some, some type of uh, versioning source control system online. I'm going to be using as an example, a project that I made called Ziglyph. It's a project for, for working with Unicode text and it's currently hosted at Codeberg. I'm going to switch to the browser. Okay. And here we are at the Ziglyph repository. And uh, this is uh, specifically on Codeberg, as I mentioned, but uh, this should work with any, basically any major repository system like GitHub, GitLab, okay? All you need is uh, a tarball, a tar.gc file of a, a, a specific version of your project. Uh, for example, here in Codeberg, in this little dot, dot, dot menu, we're going to, we can see that we have options to download a zip, a tar.gz, um, and, and uh, the other uh, formats available, but uh, the Zig package management for now, it's, it's exclusively making use of tar.gz files or, or tarballs as they're known. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, in this uh, repository, the readme includes information of how to add this dependency, okay? But uh, what we're going to be doing is also demonstrating how you can uh, basically do this also, even if you don't have access to that information. And what you can do is, for example, you can take a look at the build.zig file for a project. And here we're going to be uh, searching for this uh, line right here. As you can see, it says add module here to the B builder uh, object. And it's telling us that uh, basically this project exports a module called Ziglyph. Okay. So when we are going to be uh, adding our dependency, this is the name that we're going to be using. Okay. So we can find that in the build.zig of a project. And also you're going to see uh, in this case, the build.zig.zon, the zig object notation file basically has metadata uh, about the project. Uh, in this case, this project is really simple, has the name, the version, and the path. Um, here in this uh, build.zig.zon file is, gonna, is where you add dependencies. But in this case, Ziglyph doesn't have any dependencies, okay? So that's why this uh, zon file is really, really simple. So uh, let's go back to our terminal. And what we're going to do is, uh, I have another uh, project here in this machine, and I'm going to I'm going to be copying the the build.zig.zon file from that. Um, so it's basically a project called Cowlist build.zig.zon. Let's just copy it here, and let's edit that file. Okay. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to set here the name. This project is called Hello Depths. Okay. Uh, version, let's say 1.0. And here in the dependencies is where we're going to be adding uh, our dependencies. Okay. So what we're going to do is head on over back to the uh, browser and as I mentioned, um, in, in, in this repo, 
we have here exactly what we have to add to that build.zig.zon. Okay, let's go back to the terminal. And uh, what we're going to do, let's uh, see where, right here. So we paste this in, okay. Let's in the in the this like this, and basically what we're what we're saying here is that we're going to have one dependency. Uh, it's called uh, Ziglyph, and uh, this dependency is located at the URL, uh, the URL here that we have from Codeberg. Uh, this is basically uh, once again using what it said in in that README file, but you could also let's go back. To the browser you could also obtain the url from this menu that i, that I like i like i said a, a little earlier you can right click here and copy copy that um uh, the the address the copy you have copy link here so we can copy that and let's go back to the terminal and here uh, in the terminal for example if I paste here, as you can see, it's basically the same, almost the same um, uh, URL. But here we're using a specific tag version. And here we're just uh, using the main branch. Okay, so you can decide uh, basically what you're going to be following. So let's uh, set that um, back to how it should be. And now um, let's in our build.zig file, let's edit build.zig. We want to declare that dependency. Okay, so we can do that after these constants. Let's go back to our browser because we have here in the repository uh, in the readme. We basically, let's see, we have here what we have to add in terms of the build.zig file let's go back to the terminal okay and uh, here we're going to be pasting that okay so basically what we're doing here is defining a constant here called ziglyph uh, we're adding via the dependency method of the builder uh, that dependency, the name is Ziglyph, which is, as I mentioned, um, that's the module that's being exported uh, by the dependency. And uh, basically, that's the name that we are defining over here in our build.zig.zon. This name right here, Ziglyph, it's going to have to match uh, here the dependency when we're adding it in, in build.zig. And once we have that, we have to add the module that we want to add to whatever artifact we want to add that module to. So here in our executable, we say add module. Okay. We specify which module. So it'll be uh, Ziglyph is the name of the module that's being exported as we saw in Ziglyph's uh, build.zig. Okay. And here from that Ziglyph constant, we can use the module method. Once again, specifying the name of the module that we want to obtain. Okay. So with this, basically in our build.zig, um, it's, it's <clears throat> basically these two steps. We first declare the dependency that has to match up with uh, the dependency that we have here in our build.zig.zon. Okay. And once we declare that, we can add it, for example, to our executable with add module. Okay. So we have those two uh, changes. Now um, let's go to our main.zig. And in main.zig, now we can use the dependency. Let's just name this constant zg. And we can make an import of that module, siglyph. Okay. And here, let's just do a simple uh, debug print. That's going to be printing out a Unicode character. And we can do zg dot to lower and the capital letter A. Okay. 
So that's basically what we want to do here. Now, if we try to run this, you're gonna see this error message from the compiler, okay? And this is basically the status quo as of zig 0.11 stable. Uh, this is gonna change in future versions where um, there's gonna be like a command line uh, feature to add this information to your zig.build.zon. But for now, you just have to try to build it and the compiler itself will tell you the hash that you need in your zig.build.zon file. Let's copy this. Okay, let's go back to our zig.build.zon. And here, we're gonna be adding that line after the URL line, okay? So, let's save this. Let's go back here. And let's sig build run. And there you go. So the, the lowercase version of the capital letter A is the lowercase a. So uh, as you can see, um, we are making use of this two lower function provided by Ziglyph, which is being declared here in our uh, build.zig.zon file as a dependency. Here is the dependency, okay? And uh, in our build.zig, once again, we have the module being added to our uh, executable after we define the dependency itself here with the dependency method of the builder, okay? So that's basically uh, what you need to know when you want to add a dependency. And also, let's go back to our uh, browser and as I mentioned, if uh, you in your package, in your project, you want to also export your project so other projects can depend on it, then basically all you need is a line like this, okay? So this is basically defining a module. This, this project is defining a module to be used by other projects. This module is called Ziglyph, and this is the source file that basically will be built and defines uh, the functionality that this module is providing. So for example, if you wanted to divide your project into different modules providing different sections of functionality, then you can divide the project in different source files and then for each one add a different add module line like here. And those modules will basically uh, be available for your users uh, to add as dependencies, okay? So uh, that would be it for this one. It's a brief uh, little explanation of how to use dependencies. Um, I, can, I can also, uh, for example, I have a project here called Zigster, which is basically uh, a, Uni a Unicode UTF-8 string type. And Zigster does uh, both things. Zig Zigster has its build.zig.zon um, here where you where it defines it has two dependencies, uh, cowlist and ziglyph, okay? And uh, aside from that, um, let's look at the build.zig. And in build.zig, uh, Zigster uh, defines, once again, the dependencies. And it also defines its own module here called Zigster, okay? And in this case, since we have dependencies, we have these extra lines that add those dependencies to the Sigster module, okay? So you basically create a dependency graph, okay? Uh, using this, these types of, of methods. So uh, the, the package management allows for um, whatever granularity you wanna have uh, in your project and what you wanna make available to your users so um, yeah, by making uh, use of these uh, files, the build.zig uh, and the build.zig.zon, you basically have control over what you can export and what you can add as dependencies to your project, okay? I hope you find this useful. Uh, do the builder here. I'll see you in the next one.